Hello all and welcome to another Captain and Jimmy video. It's Art here with a very special video. It's uh, the story of why uh, last Wednesday's video was delayed. It was the story of catastrophic event due to a storm in my area, a weather event storm in my area, um, which when it passed my uh, city I live in, the power stayed on the entire time. It was a weak saw storm. But apparently it gained, gained strength, strength closer to the server form that my uh, internet provider works out of. And it blew out the internet for... Now I originally reported 60 hours and 28 minutes on the internet. But I actually redid the math after my excitement wore out of everything happening. It was actually a full 3 days, 72 hours and 28 minutes. Uh, now normally in these outages, they last maybe an hour, maybe even half a day. Maybe the longest we had one bad previously was I think like 36 hours, and that was it. And we just played, uh, we just read, we, um, watched DVDs, things like that. Um... But in this case, we actually had power, too. Um, but it was still, like, being taken back and being shown a, a, sh a short glimpse of what life was like when I was a kid without the Internet. Because there's a lot that I couldn't do because we're cord cutters in this house. And the, you guys know I've done cord cutting videos on the channel before. Uh, we didn't have access to TV. We didn't have access to um, anything that you would normally have access to while having power. Power because actually the provider that we get internet, internet from provides also cable and phone to a lot of houses. Not to ours, but to a lot of houses. And all three of the services were down for uh, 72 hours and 28 minutes. So it was like uh, reaching into a dark, dank hole. A dark, dank black hole and having to live through it. At first you're like, oh, okay, the internet's out. It'll be up by the morning. So I just like read a little bit and went to bed early. Got up the next day and did things. And that was it. Uh, but the power didn't come back on. So I didn't even bother filming videos. Because what was the pro what was the point? I could edit and render them, but I couldn't upload them. So it kind of defeated the purpose in that sense. So I did do my workout as I always do when it came to Monday and Tuesday. I didn't even get to watch uh, baseball for a few days. Didn't get to watch anything. I did do a lot of reading, which you're going to see a lot of books... Um, reviewed here in the next coming days. I did uh, go on walks and try to uh, well go for strolls throughout the neighborhood let's say. Uh, but time passed really really slowly and it was really really strange because I was out of the loop on news. I was out of the loop on uh, baseball. I was out of the loop on almost everything. Couldn't watch YouTube videos. Nothing. Now, some of you may say, well, you had your cell phone and your cell phone has mobile data. Well, with my provider, you got to pay for each gigabyte you use because I don't have a set provision because I have a low-cost um, cell phone provider because of my income situation as it stands now. So, I have a pay-as-you-go kind of data plan. And so, I wasn't going to rake up the cost of my cell phone bill just to do that. Now the one thing I did have and got the sink plenty of time into, still not done with it though, and the reason I'm wearing this shirt is I had Final Fantasy 16 because you don't realize how many of the games that I, that most of us play that have a huge online component when you can't get online that virtually renders that title basically dead. But Final Fantasy, thank goodness for that, is a single player campaign 
only. There's no real online component that I can think of or that I know of, and the game was great. Now, it was weird to see myself pop trophies on my PS5, um, and they didn't sync to the uh, server until the power came back on uh, early, early, early Wednesday morning. Was it a time that I got through? Yes. The time that I want to live through again? No. Um, I think the first couple, I think the first day or two, I handled it well. The third day, boredom really started to set in. And that's what really was like, okay, I gotta, the internet's gotta come back on because it was stupid and life was what it was. Um, the internet, the good news is the internet did come back on. Your video was only a day late. And like I said, like I've always said, the only reason that I will be late for thing, for, for video is because of catastrophic events. Catastrophic events did cause this one to be late. So you can't say anything about that. And I was as upfront and as forward as I could be, but like even I didn't pay my bills online and had to go down to my local library that thankfully had internet Wi-Fi access and I had to pay bills over there so my bills wouldn't be late. Um, so it was an extra added hardship because I've always said that um, like water, like the power, the internet has become a utility and is become becoming and has become more and more crucial to our society. If you don't believe me, try living without internet, TV, gaming uh, for three days and 28 minutes and then tell me you, you wouldn't go crazy because you don't have access to like sports, to TV, to anything. You can't watch things that you would normally watch. You can't boot up YouTube. All because of that. Now, that, like I said, thank God for Final Fantasy 16. Because that, when I was playing that, I actually kind of allowed myself to be able to forget that the internet outage was going on. Uh, also, I want to state this up front and I want to put this on blast. My internet service provider after a four hour outage um, after an outage has lasted for four hours or more um, gives an outage credit for time that you missed if, if you have um, check and see if your ISP does the same thing if an outage lasts for four hours or more because you may need it now of course you're going to have to ask for it they're not going to just give it to you so be aware of that. But it was a bizarre time in my life. It was one that I was like, yeah, I knew I was going to um, film this video because I was like, in the year 2023, which we're in now, uh, this only happens on the rarest of rare occasions. And... I felt like it needed to be documented. I felt like you guys needed a reason for why the video was late. And why I didn't why I didn't post a stream schedule for this week or stream this week. Because I was planning on being back streaming on Monday during double XP time for MLB 23 the show. But uh, I didn't get internet till almost double XP time was up. So that there was that too. Um, that's the video. That's, uh, I'm glad that time of my life is over. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever had a hardship like that where you've been without power or internet or a critical life service that we all use, a critical infrastructural service that we all use that you would expect to have that you didn't have. Let me know that in the comments down below. Uh, because believe me, I can feel your pain. There's some people in my area that lost power and internet for that long. I, I was lucky enough to have power the whole time because it was hot as the blazes. 
in my area. So it was nice to have at least the AC and have um, the refrigerators working so the food didn't spoil and things like that. So it wasn't like, I'm not going on here saying, um, oh, woe was me for three uh, days and 28 minutes. I'm just saying, to me, as an entertainment YouTuber, it was a peculiarity in entertainment. It was really peculiar, like, um, it was something you wouldn't expect to tackle in this day and age. Uh, and I know I'll never get an explanation of why it was down for that long. I would love one, though, because I would be completely interested in finding out. But I know my ISP is not going to tell their customers why the internet was out, uh, for the for three days and 28 minutes because what if it happens to be that somebody unplugged the wrong thing you know and they didn't realize it till late i'm not saying that it's probably the storm and a power line got knocked down or something like that to the server farm or maybe hell the tree landed on the server farm i don't know uh that, that that's pure speculation but what if it was something goofy they couldn't admit that you know so that's what i'm saying here but it was a peculiar time, and just know that if it happens to you, you know you can get through it. I can tell you one thing I'm doing to make sure that if it happens again, I have more and more entertainment, is I do have YouTube Premium, so I'm, I'm going to be downloading longer format videos that I can put in a watch later list on my iPad, so that if, you, if I go without internet for a longer period of time, I can at least watch videos on my iPad and I'll have gaming and reading to do too. Uh, I'm gonna buy, um, slowly gather some DVDs I wanna, DVDs and Blu-rays I wanna watch over time and like save them for the rainy day scenario or the internet outage scenario. So there's things that I could do to give myself a more plethora of options which I'm going to Kind of put that in my emergency toolkit of things that we will need. But let me know in the comments down below if you've experienced anything of that nature, either a little bit lesser, maybe more. Um, but I'm here to tell you, you can get through it. You probably did get through it. Uh, but you can get through it. You will get through it. And the resolve and your strength has to be tough enough to do it. And until next time. You know I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 12.30 p.m. Central, 10.30 a.m. Pacific, 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. Please ding the notification bell to be notified when I upload a video. And without further ado, happy reading. I'm going to go enjoy some TV, uh, which is a novelty this week. So until next time, I'll see you again soon. And peace.